Well, hello, soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Thursday, August 29th of 2024. So happy Thursday to all of you out there. I hope you're all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. So, yeah, happy Thursday. Thankful, thriving Thursday. I just got back from the beach. I woke up and went to the beach me and my little dog we went out to the beach today for a little bit it was nice but you know whenever I have my little dog with me she's always up and wanting to go here and walk around and so I didn't really get to sit and relax much and just enjoy but Ah, it was much needed, and I did get to, you know, just be in the water for a little bit, walk in the water, and, you know, play in the sand. She's, like, so full of sand. She loves the beach. <laughs> it is the cutest thing. So, yeah. Ah, but other than that, like, I feel that we're all being guided to take some type of a small time out wherever however that applies to you take a time out reset you know realize that you've been on this journey for a while and there we go okay and you know you deserve a break so here is our secondary chakra yang energy so this is our masculine energy stepping forward so i've definitely been feeling a lot more of my own masculine energy stepping forward um lately so yeah it's been it was actually pretty intense when it happened um it happened on sunday the first time and like yeah it was uh, Oh, it was just really wild how it happened. I just kind of felt like this energy, like, move into, like, move on to, like, my right side. And then I just started feeling like a, like, a coming together almost. Like, it was like my spine was tingling. My, like, the center of my head was tingling. Like, the two hemispheres, like, of my brain coming together. It was seriously wild but that like I mean but the message that I got was like this is the masculine energy stepping in this is the masculine energy stepping forward so yeah so pay attention to yeah just the thingies that you are feeling within your own body as well things that you are feeling physically all right so our affirmation is from the sixth chakra which is our third eye chakra ajna chakra card number 64 I let go of the things that give me little fulfillment so that there is space for happiness in my life. I let go of the things that give me little fulfillment so that there is space for happiness in my life. So I love it. Yep, absolutely. So we are being guided to let go of things that are holding us back, letting go of the things that are holding us down. And it could that could be anything because that could be people, that could be a job, that could be um a situation it could be you know family it could be absolutely anything it could be a mindset you know just the way that you're going about things so whatever it is we're being guided to let go of the things that don't bring us much fulfillment so that there's space for happiness you know when we get rid of the things that are not satisfying for us then we open up space for more things that do satisfy us to step in. So let's read. This is the first affirmation in the sixth chakra um, energy. So I let go of the things that give me little fulfillment so that there is space for happiness in my life. Meaning, 
People have limited possibilities in regard to their strength, attention, and ability to withstand stress. As long as you pursue many plans that give you little fulfillment and happiness in life, you will block your possibilities. As quickly as you can, let go as much as possible of the things that only burden you. But be sure not to leave any shattered remains behind. In this way, you will create space for what you enjoy and what will bring you success in the holistic sense. Let yourself be supported once again by the current of life, the creative force. Healing stone, tourmaline in general, especially rubellite. In addition, muscovite. Fragrance essence, orange, and the box flower is vine. So, yeah, it's really about, like, so we all have limits as far as things that we cannot, you know, withstand for so long. And if that's what we are filling ourselves, like, if that's what we're filling our cup up with is burdens, then that's all that's going to ever be in our cup. When we look at the cup when we look at our own cup and realize that it's full of burdens and so is you know bringing us down it's time for us to empty that cup and start filling it up with light healthy joy joyful energy so however that applies to you you will know but yeah that's amazing so this definitely so this is tuning in to our masculine energy so you know, I feel that, okay, so I feel that, you know, the there are masculine, people who are more in their masculine energy who are dealing with this right now, learning how to let go of the things that give them little fulfillment. And I can see how this can be with the masculine energy because, you know, the masculine energy is very resilient. And a lot of the times, the masculine energy will put up with things for a lot longer than they should. And so I feel that, you know, the yang energy coming out with this is to speak specifically to any, you know, anyone who is in their masculine energy. Um, and, you know, just like, take a look, like, what is it that you are filling your cup up with? Are there a lot of burdens around you that it's time for you to let go of because uh, um, yeah it's only going to help you in the long run the sooner you let go of anything that you know gives us little fulfillment so all right beautiful people this has been our affirmation for this uh, thankful Thursday <laughs> I hope you all found something that resonates with you and if you did please remember to hit that thumbs up because it helps this message to reach out to those who need to hear it so if you are subscribed to the channel I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey I love you all I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one